Hey, welcome. Let's talk about Linux today. Linux is an open source operating system that is highly flexible and capable of meeting the needs of any system user. Yes, it is the one with the penguin mascot. It was created in 1991 by Linus Torvalds. And one of the more interesting parts about Linux is how it turns out in the most unexpected places. So when Linus started Linux, he needed an operating system for his own personal use. And today you find Linux everywhere, from small embedded devices to big supercomputers. And that's kind of interesting how this technology allows you to expand into many different niches. Linux is also a great choice for personal computers with many distributions available to choose from, such as Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, to name a few. Ubuntu is the world's most popular Linux-based desktop operating system. Similar to Windows and Mac OS, Linux manages computers' memory and processes, facilitating communication between hardware and software. As a software engineer, I personally believe that Linux is the best operating system for software developers, DevOps engineers and coders for a number of reasons. Number one, open source. You can find its code base on the internet, modify it to suit your needs and use it in your favor without limitations. Number two, support for multi-CPU processors. Nowadays, multi-core processors are omnipresent. OS is responsible for utilizing it fully. Number three, big contributors like Google, Intel, Huawei, Samsung, Red Hat, Canonical, and Meta are among the top contributors to Linux kernel development in recent years. Number four, Linux totally dominates supercomputers. As of 2021, 100% of the world's 500 fastest supercomputers run Linux. Impressive, isn't it? Number five, Linux is used by every major space program in the world, including NASA. Private space companies like SpaceX also leverage it, with the latter having completed six to five space missions and counting, with the assistance of the fault resistant Linux system in their powerful Falcon 9 rockets. Number six, the most popular operating system in the world, Android, which is built on Linux, has over three billion active users. And number seven, Nine out of 10 public clouds run on Linux, according to Red Hat, who probably knows what they're talking about. Is Linux kernel or operating system? Technically, Linux is kernel, which serves as the foundational seat from which the rest of the operating system grows. Nowadays, the term Linux is often treated synonymously with an entire operating system. However, what makes Linux a comprehensive OS is the addition of GNU. GNU is a collection of utilities and free software that is used as part of operating system. To acknowledge the contributions of its founder and the project itself, some people prefer to use the term GNU Linux instead of just Linux. The kernel is composed of several subsystems, like process scheduler, device drivers, and the memory manager. These subsystems are accessible through system call interface, which is further encapsulated by the C standard library. This arrangement facilitates interaction between user application and the kernel. User applications are primarily provided by the GNU project, which includes a variety of tools like shells, developer utilities. Every application we as a developer write, be it a console application or daemon that runs on the background, is compiled down to binaries and then gets executed by Linux. Every, interactions, every interaction we instruct our app to make, like network input output, disk reads and out writes, accessing files, all done by calling syscalls. No pun intended. All right, guys, thank you. So if you liked the video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you won't miss the next one. Bye bye.